All right. Uh, today, I thought we'd look at some FTMs. We'll start by looking at some openly transgendered ma- uh, female to males, just to get a sense of what they look like. And then we'll look at some celebrity examples who may be FTMs themselves. All right. My name's Logan Beck Ireland. I'm 27 years old, and I'm a senior airman in the United States Air Force, currently stationed in Kandahar, Afghanistan. <laughs> My commander was a little surprised when when I told her. I mean, she didn't really seem too phased by it. I told her that I was transgender, that I was assigned female at birth. There's not a lot of people that know that I'm transgender. It's very much on a need-to-know basis. Um, currently in Afghanistan, there's only a handful, and those people are of higher rank than, of course, the people that I came here with from my home station. How often do you give yourself a shot? Um, so it's every Friday. When the other guys ask me uh, what being transgender means, I basically say that it's just being assigned female at birth. Your mind does not uh, come in alignment with your body. After doing it every week for over three years, you just kind of get used to it. And that's it. I can be my authentic self. I'm just another guy. Whereas back home, I'm still seen as female, and I go by female regs and standards. Here in Afghanistan, a war zone, it's like a vacation to me because I can be myself in such an austere environment. There are a lot of transgender troops. I mean, there's over 15,000 of us, but I know a lot personally. They're getting discharged left and right, and these are good people for the military. I'm sure that they know about Logan being transgender, but I'm pretty sure, and I'm almost 100% sure that they they don't know that I'm transgender. Now, is that a man or a woman? All right, give you a couple seconds to think about it. Um, the truth is, this is a female to male transgendered wrestler. Texas transgender wrestler wins girl state title. And this person was apparently born a, um, a girl. From three years old, she has considered herself a boy. Now, more than a year after starting testosterone treatment that is transforming his physical appearance and increasing muscle mass to that of or near a boy of similar age. Now, let's look at some more here. Okay, 10 handsome men who were born female. Buck Angel, he's a famous one. She, adult filmmaker and transsexual, Buck Angel is now an icon in the uh, LGBT community. Lived for years as a female professional model. Transsexual Performer of the Year. Well, that's something to aspire to. All right. I mean, look at these dragons. You know, it's got these demonic tattoos. The phoenix, dragons, serpents. Arms are short. That's, that's all we got, really. And there's some kind of strange things going on with the breasts, apparently. But okay, here's another one. That one looks pretty... You know, that looks like a lot of actors, doesn't it? This guy here. Yvonne. <laughs> this girl, sorry. You know, totally male haircut. Facial hair. Now, this uh, nipple here, the male nipple does seem a bit funny there. It seems a bit out of place. But look at that muscle mass. I mean, testosterone will do that, man. You know, again, look at it. It's achieved male hips, basically. Those are not wide female-looking hips, but this person was born female. This is a female to male. Transsexual, very masculine-looking face. Square jaw, even, to a certain extent. It does have that uh, female, you know, almost vertical forehead, and then it starts to slope back on top. And we only notice that because this person's bald. Muscles, you know, they they develop the shoulder muscles a lot to get that uh, wide shoulder look, and it is bending in a very strange way. The breasts look very strange. You can tell right there. Usually, you it's not going to be that obvious on an uh, on a celebrity. And look at this one. You know, you, you do get a kind of a sense that there's a bit of a feminine vibe. But that's about it. No proof, you know? How could you prove it? You know, that's why I struggle to make videos on female to male. Because it's like, well, how, how could you look at this person here and convince others that it's a woman? But again, you know, this looks like a lot of uh, musicians, actually, this person's. See a lot of these kind of looking faces in alternative rock music. Now, the hips are a bit wider on this person, but still, they managed to expand the... Uh, shoulders a bit. So the shoulders are about the same width as the waist, or as the hips. And the hands are pretty small. 
short fingers, hand, and then again, you got the short upper arm. These are all female to males we're looking at. This is the one that got pregnant somehow. So the nipples look a bit funny. Lots of muscles, and it looks like a lot of actors. Remember, a lot of actors have this kind of feminine vibe, don't they? And, they, and again, you see the short upper arm. Here's one that was on the cover of Men's Health. See, we already know they're FTMs, right? So it's a little bit more obvious than if we didn't know. Maybe if you just looked at the face, you might be fooled, right? But see, and these people leave evidence, right? You can see the female hips ending up above the navel, the curve coming in there in the middle of the uh, torso. See the scars and the nipples and all that, right? The uh, nipples are not the right size. and But here, look at that. Look at the, uh, it almost looks like it has a male Adonis belt area in this photo. The hips look fairly uh, normal. See, again, you can see the female hips in this photo, straight on shot. It's kind of got that Ryan Gosling uh, shape to it, right? Which is why you want to put the hand in the pockets if you're an FTM as much as possible. They do try to fake the Adonis belt though, right? And they're getting pretty good at that. And then what they do is they try to pretend like that uh, oblique thing, the uh, love handle area, they try to make that look like it's some muscle that they've been uh, working out hard at the gym. So it'll flare out like that, but really what it is is they're covering up the female hips ending high above the uh, navel. And most of these guys, they always wear their pants down way too low, right? If you're a man, you can just look at that. You're not wearing your pants way down there like this, like these guys are, right? And it makes their torso look longer. So the, you notice that all the time their pants are too low. Oh, that now we've seen uh, images just like this from amongst the uh, male celebrities. This guy, one of those fighters, McGregor. I mean, isn't that... See, you can see that oblique thing, right? The love handle area coming in above the navel. Now, is it muscle? Is it love handle? Or is it uh, female hips? It's pretty insane, right? It's pretty crazy. It's hard to wrap your head around it that this uh, fighter guy making millions of dollars for fighting and boxing could be an FTM, right? Some kind of bioengineered hybrid FTM type creature. Um... But there's a lot of similarities in this person and this uh, men's health model. A lot of similarities, right? So for me, I find it helpful just to look at FTMs, just to kind of let it soak in a bit what they look like, right? And it's a, I'm not very good at explaining FTMs. And if the, you know, the celebrities that we see every day are transgendered basically in the Petri dish, you know, through some kind of free Martin type technique, um, it's very, it's much different. These people here, the open FTMs actually transition later in life, possibly even after puberty. So the earlier they transition, the harder it is to detect, especially if it's before puberty and especially if it's in the Petri dish. In fact, I was going to make this video about a year ago, but when this uh, newspaper article on the Sun in the UK tabloid, they came out with this article about my video on Giselle and Tom Brady. Right, and they basically said that I was crazy. And for some reason, all the other YouTube channels covering this topic all ganged up on me as well. The same channels that talk about animals that we've all seen in nature, depending on what part of the world you visited or live in, they say that they ganged up on me, right? And they're the ones talking about ridiculous things that make them appear to be a disinformation agent. I don't know what they are but they're putting up videos saying that animals that exist in nature are fake, CGI, whatever. Animals I've seen myself, animals that I have pictures and videos of that I took myself, all right? So I know he's wrong about that. Um, you know, just makes us question the whole thing, doesn't it, right? So what I, what I chose to do, maybe I was wrong, I don't know, but I kind of became a bit more conservative after this. Right, I just want to well, whether it's FTM or MTF, I just want to be able to back it up a bit more, right? Um, Giselle's pretty obvious, right? I mean, it's if you're going to wake people up in a world full of deception, start with Giselle. That's that's what the way I thought. I'm a kind of a simple guy, all right. Tom Brady, a little, little bit harder for people to believe, don't you think? NFL quarterback is a woman, FTM, don't you think that's kind of a Bitter pill for people to swallow. Don't you think that's a little bit difficult for people to wrap their heads around and it might just scare them off the whole entire topic, right? Baby steps. Giselle, let's start there. And uh, I was getting, getting some new subscribers who could, couldn't even see the MTFs anyway, right? So it just seemed like it wasn't the right time to focus on FTMs. 
too much. Uh, maintaining credibility was more important and uh, at that time because of all the, uh, the pressure coming against me from both mass media and uh, other YouTubers, supposedly uh, truthers. And they were telling lies, actually. And they still do to this day. There's people telling lies about me who call themselves truthers. They say they're honest people that care about the truth, and they just lie. There's one guy saying that uh, not only does he say koalas are fake, he says that I am the singer of a band called the Eels, and my name is Mark Everett. All right. First of all, I'm much better looking than that guy. Secondly, I'm younger. I don't even look anything like that guy. All right. Now, the one thing we both have in common is we're not very good singers. <laughs> but he's actually much better than, than I am. He's a better songwriter, and uh, he's been doing this a long time. I just heard of the band. So in a way, I could thank this guy for letting me know about this band, because they're actually a pretty good band, which, ironically enough, I'd never heard of until somebody told me I was the lead singer of that band. So apparently I'm the lead singer of a band I've never even heard of. I've never sang before, really, until I started my channel. I've always just been a guitarist. I think if I were in a successful rock band, I wouldn't be here making videos. I'd be out there rocking. Ah, now look at this guy. See, that could almost come across as kind of a, um, a handsome man or something, right? It's got that little sparkle in the eye. It's got a bit of facial hair to toughen it up a bit, you know. Tattoos. Flannel shirt, even. So it looks like an actor, right? That'll fool you if you're not really uh, paying attention. Now look at that. That's a female. That's a female to male. They get very muscular. In fact, that person's uh, in better shape than I am. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at the muscles. Oh, what's going on there? It's got something in its pants. I don't even want to know what that is. So yeah, they can make some kind of little, you know. Oh, and look at this guy. Very interesting. He's holding a magazine with The Rock on the cover. The FTM's holding The Rock. What are you trying to tell us there? But you can see the hips there flaring out a little bit too much, right? So that one's obvious. But the face. Now, here's one of these pretty boys. You see these kind of people a lot. There are a lot of them are in these uh, vampire movies and whatnot. You know, so it's just like um, facial feminization surgery, FFS. This is FMS, facial masculinization. That's a long word. Masculinization surgery. Now, uh, I'm just going to read this real quick, just so we're aware of what they can do. To make a female face appear more masculine, many techniques can be used along with testosterone therapy. The forehead can be lengthened, the cheeks and nose augmented, and most importantly, the jaw reshaped and the chin recontoured. So are they men who have had too much plastic surgery, or are they FTMs trying to appear male? Now, the celebrities obviously are not going to show us the scar tissue. Like that face there, you see that face a lot on TV, similar face, but that face might fool you. It'd fool me because I'm a pretty conservative guy trying to maintain credibility, talking about things that the world doesn't want to hear, that they're not able to see, all right? Most people in the world still cannot even see the MTF. Most people in the world still think Venus Williams is a female, all right? That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a very sick world who doesn't want to hear the truth, all right? See, this one's pretty obvious. It's, it's a bizarre body, but, but even this one doesn't really have uh, obvious female hips at all, right? Look at shoulders wider than the hips, so they can do that, right? They can get the shoulders wider than the hips, so you can't really use the same bone structure methodology on FTMs, especially if they're created as kind of FTM free martin type hybrids in the in the in vitro. That's an FTM, but that one's uh, almost pretty passable. Like if you didn't see the nipple. Now here we have uh, men's health again. We have the short upper arm, bulky, right? A little bit too bulky. So again, we have the kind of the puffed up upper body, like you pumped them up full of air. Something unnatural about that. There's Barack on the cover of Men's Health. <laughs> He's a bit curvy in the hips, right? Very tall guy. See, that's kind of same strange shape on the breasts, like a deflated water balloon. It's always difficult to get that 100% confirmation, but they're all possibly FTM. Every, everyone you see in mass media could be an FTM, all right? So here's the trans couple, Ryan Gosling. Got the kind of the oval-shaped face, whereas the girlfriend has a square face. This guy's got the uh, feminine curves as well, right? Not huge, wide hips, but they're wide enough. Yeah, see, he's got the same facial hair features, same uh, narrow 
eye sockets, shallow eye sockets, I should say. And he looks like that guy from the cover of Men's Health. And and look at look at his hips flaring out above the navel there, right? That's not a love handle. No, those are his hips. And this guy's always got his hands in the pockets. This is one of the rare photos where the hands are not in the pockets. Oh, there they are, back in the pockets. But you can see the hips flaring out above the navel. But they're pretty good at covering up the hips, the FTMs. That is not really the best way to look at these guys, right? That's the thing. I'm focused on that with MTFs. It's not the smoking gun on an FTM. They're changed by the testosterone. Look at this guy. He's all out of control. It's like a, the T-virus has taken hold, but he's got that kind of that, that featureless, dumpy little face. And look at that striking tranny he's with. Is that his wife? I don't know who that is, right? So that's a trans couple right there, all right? Hard to believe because he's got these huge muscles. Look, he's got that huge tranny wife, whatever she is, he is. He's got that same, those same kind of uh, goofy looking breasts, doing the same kind of poses. He's got the obliques kind of puffing out a little bit too much down there. I mean, it's uh, it's hard to prove. So I'm not, you know, I don't care. If you can't see it, that's fine. Hey, I can see this stuff, right? I've been able to see this for a long time. I'm not very good at it. I don't know how to talk about it yet. I don't know how to explain it. Again, see the, uh, the, the on our right, that breast. It's all uh, caved in and goofy looking. So if you want to come out and do another mass media hit piece on me, and if all the shill channels want to come up and gang up on me, fine, go ahead. I don't give a flying FTM. Yeah, it's hard, right? Look at this. It looks kind of like a dude working out in the gym, right? I mean, for the most part, that's what it looks like, unless you look very closely. He does not have deep eye sockets, no brow bones, got that kind of, uh, where's his jaw? You know, you can't really see the jaw bone, right? Oval-shaped face, right? It's all puffed up. Not normal muscle development. It's not kind of a, a lean muscle mass. It's like an artificially puffed up image just for show, really. You know, and then, the, you know, the sloping shoulders, the whole deal, right? Thin facial hair, right? Short arms, very short arms. That kind of featureless face. Same like this guy. This guy's classic, right? Got that kind of uh, feminine shine to his face. Got the flat forehead, oval jaw. That tranny on the left is a lot more obvious. Got the Adam's apple sticking out. Yeah, look at it. Where's his jaw? You know, a pointy little chin. And uh, Trump as well, right? I mean, <laughs> where's Trump's uh, eye sockets? You know, kind of crunched up, pudgy little face. So it's like an MTF. They got the clothes, they got the hair, and they got the... They do wear makeup. That's the thing I was wondering about before. Television, there's lights and all this stuff. They have to wear some kind of makeup. It's not female type makeup, but it's makeup. So again, right there, Matt Damon looking pretty uh, tough, right? Looking pretty macho. But again, he's got those kind of like uh, bizarre looking breasts, really. Not normal shaped at all. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video. I'm getting a lot of troll comments. Um, people saying I'm like not focusing on FTMs enough. Well, here you go. Video focused on FTMs, all right? I wish there were more... Uh, channels focused only on FTMs, and I wish uh, some of them had a bit of credibility, you know. Just want to give you a quick update on my channel. i um, got two strikes now on my main channel, right? This is the second time I've had two strikes on my main channel. I also have one strike on this backup channel already as well. Here's the details, so you can see it's strike one, Melania, from uh, acknowledged February 27th, expires May 28th, and the new one, Cheryl Crow, Acknowledged April 17th, expires on July 15th. Now that Cheryl Crow video, I'd have to check, but I put that up a long time ago, like maybe even a year ago or so. They just kind of randomly chose to give that one a strike. So there you have it. A lot of strange things going on. Some kind of breeding program, bioengineering, some kind of soulless vessels put in the mass media to deceive us. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a pleasant day.